All right, we're halfway through this video, but we just now grabbed the camera. Tell okay. us a story, Will. All right, so the story is uh, we were dumb last time and very tired. The crank sensor was not bad. We cut it in half, so that's cool. Uh, new crank sensor from China is going in now. Relays are okay, so we were also dumb on that. Zach and I did a little bit of probing, mainly Zach. I sat there and finger fucked things. White claw helped. And we found out I didn't do nothing. that I didn't do nothing. this <laughs> little guy right here, the traction control stepper motor sensor, actually has a short to ground, so when you unplug it, you get your five volt reference sensor circuit back, which means, in theory, when we get the crank sensor plugged back in, it's gonna work, in theory. And if it does, we're not gonna do anything else but donuts for the rest of the night. All right, I got it. A lot it. more zinc. I got it. What do you you got? You got you got the sensor crank bolted sensor in? plug. All right. I'm gonna flip this and we're gonna turn it over and it's gonna AC. run. Oh, power yeah. tower, yeah, you're right. Okay. Isn't that weird? Zash. It's a big hole. Yeah. Turn key. I'm pretty good at turning keys. Here we go. I still didn't get a booze. Yep, just open oh, right. oh, God. oh fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, this is not working. <laughs> the door opens. Not very well. You just grab the handle and open oh. it. Stand by. <coughs> Go. No spark. No spark. We didn't find it. Traction control did not solve. No. All right. All right. Ready? Break. We try again. Break it back. Okay, so as of thus far, we have replaced the crank sensor. We have replaced uh, pretty much all of the relays and tested all the relays. We have checked the circuits on the five volt reference circuit, which is very strange to me. It's pointing back to the DME. Um, so we're getting five volts at the, uh, what is it? The fun killer. Fun, what's the fun killer? The traction control. Traction control has five volts. Uh, the crank sensor has 1.2 volts. It's getting no spark, no fuel. We've checked the coil. We've checked all the sensors at the throttle body area. Uh, we're getting no pulses on the injectors, no spark. And we're at a bit of a loss for words. It's probably EWS or DME related, in my opinion. Zach, what did we do? What did we do? What did we do? We did donuts. No, right. And we got a tool. We what? found that um, originally, the, what we thought was original, and so we're originally going to our original plan, and that's EWS. So we're coming after you, EWS. It's dumb anyway. Who even decided EWS no needs to be a thing? No one's gonna this is the it. 90s. It's not like anyone was stealing BMWs back then. With them. So, we've called Jason, our, our guy that does our EWS deletes for us, and he's going to come delete the EWS maybe. So, stay tuned for the SpongeBob transition, and we'll be back. A few moments later. All right, after the SpongeBob interlude, Jason came. <laughs> there we go. Like 30 minutes, minutes later. later. Oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah. I'm going to boating school. <laughs> Questionable. It looks we'll like see. an M51, kind of, huh? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> I hope Jason is saving days, though. The mad scientist is here with the computer, and he's trying to save the day. All right. Let me close this door. So, you guys saw, we couldn't make this work. We had all of the best BMW mines that we have access to with this car, and we couldn't get to work. So then, I did some research over there and I was like, man, maybe it's just the immobilizer. This car has a keyless entry thing. Maybe I just need to hit unlock or lock. Um, I was pretty confident in that. I even threw it in our group text message chat with all the guys. Will vetoed that and said, no, that's definitely wrong. And I was like, okay. Came in and tried it, hit it, it just beeped three times. And I was like, whatever, it doesn't work anymore. So then Hamish and I just spent two hours trying to EWS delete this car. This is a car with EWS2. OBD2 as well yeah ews2 obd2 which is different than obd1 apparently um apparently it can't be bypassed by just doing wires and stuff it has to be a programming thing so uh we don't know anybody that can program the four cylinder dme so we put it all back together after cutting wires and resoldering wires and doing things 
I read about what the three beeps means when you push the thing. It just means your hood's open or a door's open. So I came and I pushed that, the hood switch, then the lock worked. Then I put the key in the ignition, then we had spark. And then I turned the key and now it works. So I'm gonna call Will because he was convinced that I was dumb. Convinced. So let, let's, let's do some Will speaking. Let's see if he'll answer. He's on a ski vacation, so he's not gonna be in videos for a while. Yeah. What's up, dude? What are you doing? Uh, uh, building That's cool. You got like two seconds, you're on video. Yeah, what's up? All right, so I tried the keyless entry thing. Miraculously, the, butt, the, the battery was still good in the fob, but it didn't unlock or lock the doors. It just did this weird beeping thing. So I was like, whatever, that doesn't work. So wow, then, okay. then, then I figured out what the, the beeps were. It meant that the hood or doors were open. So I went and closed the hood switch and then and then I unlocked it with the with the fob to disable the immobilizer and it started right up. Oh my god, all of that fucking commotion for nothing. It was the fucking immobilizer. All we had to do was just unlock the car. Just had to unlock the car. <laughs> so it runs great. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. I'm stoked that it runs. Now we can do toe-to-toe -to -toe burnout. Yeah, we're going to do some work on it, put some headlights on it. Maybe I'll weld up a crash bar on it, and uh, yeah, I'll get her done. Fuck yeah, man. I but, love it. Send me some pictures. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Does it still work? It really... <laughs> Maybe it's really out of fuel. It could be really out of fuel. It's speeding up. Yeah, pump that carb. <laughs> <laughs> Hood switch, maybe I slammed it down? No, it was, it was a working. locked and unlocked, right? Yeah. Do you want me to get it started with some star food? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> We should take this. Let's, let's take this just in case. <laughs> Alright, let's try to not go to jail. This thing's peppy. Yeah. The alignment is really bad. Is it? Yeah. You can already tell. <laughs> I know it's bad because I put it together. <laughs> This thing's such a pile of shit. <laughs> it's on the road. Oh, it has brakes. Oh yeah, we didn't really. Oh test god! It. <laughs> Did you feel that bump? Yeah. <laughs> the bumps are a little wobbly. Yeah. Just filling up the old, the old ship box. Pretty stoked. It's pretty cool with like the seats not bolted in too. It is kind of nice. Is yours bolted in? No. Oh, okay. We need some lightweight seats, like some ATV seats or something for this. Right. Dude, the shifter's so short. The Hugo Boss shifter? Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's Z3. The four cylinder has the short shifter that everybody wants. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll say it's pretty cold. Do we have heat? Oh, we probably do have heat. Does it work? I can't tell. It's, I'm, every, there's dust everywhere, though. I don't think the blower motor works. Oh, that's sad. It's like, this thing is obviously a gambler car and we're not doing a gambler with it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is a race car. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do so much drifting and time attack shit with this. It's already got the four lug rear. What else do you want? Yeah. Our buddy Joel, you know Joel. He, uh, he uh, took out half of his Land Rover with a trailer that was parked the wrong way over here. Not like that. It was a flatbed. Yeah, but like that yeah. jagged edge. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's why I was talking about going to New Mexico to get a discovery. Yep. What do you think we're doing this week? And I think we'll probably take you guys along because there's nobody else in the shop. So oh, we're probably, going? probably make Hamish. Yeah, and we're getting uh, uh, another car for Nat as well. Oh, that'd be cool. 
New Mexico is a fun trip. Mm -hmm. Santa Fe too, so it's not even. Yeah, that's a day trip. Yeah. So donuts first, then we'll go to Zach's. Okay. And then um, we'll see if we can fix the misfire real quick. We're kind of on a tight crunch. I got to be home pretty early today. Um, but we thought we'd come over here and get the headlights that I want to run on this and uh, some coolant. I'm excited for donuts and unbolted seats. Yeah. Yeah. It's a drift monster! <laughs> it's a machine! <laughs> oh, dude. Like that. You gotta put your head down, because that's the thumbnail. Duck, duck your head. <laughs> Perfect. Dude, that's... A <laughs> that's a great level of ratty. I like it a lot. Yeah. That's what this, we should do is like... Ship boxes, but using other ship box BMW parts. <laughs> and it's got storage. This thing's so good. Will it do a burnout, you think? It'll do a burnout. Sort of. Things, like. Almost hit some things. Three cylinders of fury. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a race car. <laughs> right here, just spin in the water. Yeah, you could just do it right out in the water. Pro tires are pretty bad. You're gonna park it? Yeah, sure. to be made better but all right uh till the next one on tinky winky uh thanks for watching guys oh Seems yeah to be smoking quite a bit it's race fumes